This segment brought to you by Heinen Brothers Ag. Farmers helping farmers by offering quality aerial and ground application, fertilizer, ag chemicals, and anhydrous ammonia. Call today to protect your crop yield. Good morning, my name is Dustin Conrad. We're out here in central Kansas, outside of Solomon. We're wrapping up some of our corn planting for the 2016 year. We're uh, putting in a plot right now of different varieties. We have a couple numbers from Stein Seed, Pioneer Seed, Oldie Seed, and um, Hogemeyer Seed also. We're putting a 1435-10-2 mix on starter. We're just planting a solid rate through the plot of 23,000. Last year this field was harvested as soybeans. Um, it was double crop beans that uh, we strip tilled it last fall with no fertilizer. We'll put the fertilizer on this summer in our applicator, rolling applicator. Uh, we do that for the, we have a grant that we're, we're involved with that the theory is to only apply fertilizer within 30 days prior to planting or after. A few years ago, we decided to start strip tilling out here on our farm. We've been a 100% no-till for 20 years plus and uh, we tried it out seed quite a bit of a yield gain out of it plus there's uh, lots of intangible benefits like this year we've noticed that we were able to get into the field a little earlier and start planting it's early april right now and uh, the soil temperature in the strip till is 62 degrees and out of the strip till it's about 58 and that allows us to plant a little earlier to get the corn up and tasseled before the really hot dog days of August get here, which we've noticed a little, quite a bit of a yield gain out of just that fact alone. Another thing that, we've, that we like about the strip till is that we have the ability to variable rate fertilizer with our machine and we like to have it as banding down in the strip till so that the plants can absorb that nitrogen later in the summer. Later this week, we'll be over planting a field and we're gonna do a population study for K-State. We've been involved with them for about three years on doing uh, population studies. We usually do uh, three repetitions of each population, one at a lower number at about 14,000, one at 16, and then 20, 20, 2, 24, and 28, and then usually sometimes we'll do a higher rate of 30. Um, it's an on-farm research that we do with them that has taught me and our bo my boss quite a bit about, you know, controlling seeding rates for corn. This fall we'll harvest this plot and we'll have a way wagon out here to study each, get an exact yield of every variety, which, you know, that can determine what varieties we plant next year. This is the third year we've done a study with K-State. The first year, we had determined that uh, our, our farm average was 24,000 population. And through the K-State study, we actually determined that a lower seeding rate and uh, central Kansas climates, it would be more effective and efficient for population for cost of input versus yield. So we actually the second year decided for a farm average we lowered it to 22,000 which then we learned last year because of the amount of rain that we had that uh, it wasn't high enough. But this year we'll see uh, what results we get and that's why we're doing a I think a five-year study total to check against rainfall, etc. Earlier in my life, I rode bucking horses and rodeos. And my shoulders took such a beating, and that was probably the reason for having several previous surgeries on both shoulders. About a year ago, I decided that I didn't want to have another surgery. And so I contacted Kansas Regenerative Medicine, took their treatment process. It was 
relatively pain-free. Now, after eight months, my shoulders have healed to the point where I think I'm probably 90 to 95 percent of normal. It takes a couple of months to start to see results with stem cell injections, but at about three to three and a half months, I started to, to feel better. I started to have less pain and feel real progress. That continued to increase gradually until now at approximately eight months and I'm extremely pleased. I've got full range of motion. I can lift weights, I can throw, I can do uh, a lot of things that uh, I couldn't do without a lot of pain previously.